Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel where I talk about how sometimes life feels super repetitive. I saw a comment the other day. He said, hey DJ, I've watched a lot of advice videos on how to make my life fun because I feel like I'm in a time loop. All of the videos say play sports, but I can't because I'm in a wheelchair and I hate it. I'm only 11 years old, so I can't really meet people because none of the kids in my neighborhood are my age. Every single day is super repetitive and I'm tired of it. This is a comment that I've looked at for a couple of days now, and I didn't really know what to say. You're 11 years old, and you're in a wheelchair, and you hate it. You say that every single day is repetitive, and you're tired of it, and I feel you, man. A couple of years ago, I was going through the same thing, not really the wheelchair part. I would wake up, I would go to school, and then I would go home. And then the next day, I would wake up, go to school, go home. Wake up, go to school, go home. And it did feel really repetitive. I felt like things weren't as exciting as they were before. I wasn't having as much fun as I was before. But today, I mean, I feel great. You mentioned in your comments that everybody says play sports. That's how you can meet friends. That's how you can do more things. But you can't because you're in a wheelchair. And that is true. Like sports, for anybody watching, Joining a sport team, whether it's at your school or like going to the gym and just joining a random league or something, doing sports will drastically improve your life. You don't even have to be super athletic. Just joining a sport in general, you'll meet so many people, you'll learn a new thing, and you'll be doing physical activity. All those three things make your life amazing. But for you, you say you're in a wheelchair and you can't play sports. Depending on where you live, bro. If you live in a super big city, they do have wheelchair sports. Like I've seen so many wheelchair basketball leagues, wheelchair tennis, sports like that. If you live in a big enough city, you can talk to your parents about joining some of these sports. But judging by your comment, you say you can't play sports. So you probably don't live in like a super big city. Once you grow up though, like in a couple of years, you say you're 11. Once you turn like 18, you can go to a big city and just play sports, bro, if you really want to. You also said that you're only 11 and you can't meet any people because nobody in your neighborhood is your age. When I grew up, I didn't really have anybody in my neighborhood that was my age either. Everybody in my neighborhood was like old, like it was like 90 year olds in my neighborhood. So I didn't really have that many friends in my neighborhood. I hung out with my siblings most of the time. I have two sisters and I would hang out with them at home all the time. So if you have any siblings, definitely hang out with them. And I know you probably don't want to hear this, but hang out with your parents. Like you're getting to that age where you're like, oh, my parents are so annoying. Like, everybody, when they're like 14 or 15 years old, they're always like, why would I hang out with my mom? Why would I hang out with my dad? They're so annoying. But hanging out with your parents is underrated. Your parents know you the best. You could have the best friendship with your parents. But I know you want to hang out with people your age. It's just more cool to hang out with people your age. You obviously go to school, right? You obviously have classmates. I keep reading your comment and you type this comment as if like you have no friends at all. I doubt you have no friends. If you have no friends, you have to be the ugliest, stupidest, stinkiest, dumbest person ever. And I know you're not any of that. You definitely have friends at school. You mentioned that you're not going to be able to play sports and you're sad about it. Well, honestly, bro, that's probably a positive thing. Like if you look at this situation in a positive light, all the kids your age are playing sports, doing all that. So they go to school and after school, they go to practice and they get home at like 9 p.m. and they have to go to bed. You go home straight after school. You have like six hours until you have to go to bed. All the people your age are at practice, but you're not. You have way more time than they do. So I think this is actually a good thing for you. You can spend more time doing things you enjoy. Now, what I'm about to talk about goes for anybody. You don't have to be in a wheelchair or anything. If your life feels super repetitive and you feel like everything is just the same and you're not as excited about things anymore, the first thing you need to do is start going to bed at the same time every day. Start waking up at the same time every day. It's something so simple to do. But once you start doing that, you're going to feel like you're doing something. Waking up and going to sleep at the same time every day or somewhere around there gets your whole body in rhythm. It gets you good. It gets you started. And then when you wake up, make your bed. I know that sounds so stupid. It sounds like I'm your freaking mom saying make your bed, but make your bed. It takes five to 10 seconds and you're going to feel like you did something. Making your bed is such a little thing, but starting the day off by getting something done and being productive sets you up to have an amazing day. And if you don't already make your bed every day, if you start making your bed, that's something new. Your life won't feel repetitive. Wake up, go make your bed, then go take a drink of water. Then go outside, bask in the sun, do things that you don't do. It seems so simple, like, oh, if your life seems repetitive, do things that you don't normally do. But if you start doing it, you're going to realize that life isn't repetitive. There's so many different things you can do. And because you have all this free time, because you don't do sports, you can focus on things you enjoy, like playing video games or watching YouTube videos or even try to make some YouTube videos. It would be super cool if there was like a super popular YouTuber that was in a wheelchair. I don't think I've ever seen a person in a wheelchair be a super popular YouTuber. So 
Start making YouTube videos, bro. You watch my videos, so obviously you like them. You have so much more time than anybody else your age to focus on things you enjoy. So this is a positive thing, bro. Embrace who you are and have fun with your life because it just goes so fast. Recently, I've realized that going to bed is so important. I made a video about it. You can watch it right there. I just talked about how going to sleep can improve your life by like a million times. So watch that video right there. And if you don't want to watch it, then I hate you.